So boys and girls, we're going to read a historical fiction called The Storyteller's Candle by Lucia Gonzalez. And when you read a text, you can put together what you already know and what you learn from the text to form a new understanding. And we call that synthesize. So when you synth synthesize, your thinking changes and you form new ideas. And we should be doing that all the time. And so this is what you do. You think about what you already know. And then you think about what you're learning and you form a new understanding. So you can ask yourself these things. You think, at first I was thinking such and such because. And then you take what you're learning and you think, when I was reading, I was thinking whatever you were thinking and you were thinking that because, and then that will form a new understanding for yourself. And by the end, I was thinking a new understanding of whatever it was. So you take your old thinking, you pair it with your new thinking, and you come up with something new. And see, we're always adding to our knowledge we're always changing our thinking about something because we're always learning new information about something, boys and girls. And we're going to practice synthesizing during the storyteller's candle. And this is going to be a very interesting story for you because it is historical fiction. I think this is our first historical fiction story that we've had um, in our book this school year. I think you're really going to enjoy it. I'm excited about it. So let's prepare to read our story. Now, a historical fiction is a story that is set in a real time and place in the past. So it is a story that is in a real time, in a real past, but it isn't a story that is true. It's really, it happened in the past and it has real events in it. So historical fiction might include real people as characters and fictional, or it might have made up characters. Historical fiction includes characters who act, think, and speak like real people from the past would. I don't know, has anybody here ever read um, any of the American Girl Doll stories? Those are historical fiction books. So all the girls have read those. Yes? I've read the Samantha book because I have the Samantha doll. Yes, you've read the Samantha book because you have the Samantha doll. Those would be maybe historical fiction because they take place in the past and they use events from the past to tell a story. Um, who has read the I Survived books? Okay. Those would be historical fiction books because the characters themselves may not be real characters, but they're using events from the past to tell you about a historical time or a historical event. Maddie, which ones have you read? Um, I think I might have read like half. I don't remember which ones though. Yes, there's so many of them. Yes, yeah, Sophia. I've read, I survived 9-11. Um, I've read almost all of them. Yes, there's so many of them. And so those are historical events. The character in them are mostly made up people or children. There's usually a child star that is in the story. And those are historical events that have happened, but the person in them is not a real person. So authors of historical fiction tell the story through important events. So there's always important events. Which one are you, do you have in your hand, Reese? Yes, that's a very good one. The American Revolution one. What one do you have, Eli? Um, I survived the Nazi and the, na oh, the Nazi invasion. That is a World War II one. So we have some very interesting um, I Survived books. So that would be a type of story like this one, a historical one. So it's set in a real time and place in the past. So let's look at our story right now. It says, look at the illustrations and the, the title, the story title. What would you like to learn about the storyteller and her candle? And so let's look at that, boys and girls. I want you to kind of look on page 168, and I want you to review the illustrations. Look on page 168. What do you think life might have been looked been like for a family from Puerto Rico 
in New York City a long time ago. What do you think life might have been like for that family? What do you think? Yes, what do you think? That maybe like the, the, the road was like very busy and it was just going home. Okay, so it would have been very busy there where they lived. What do you think, Leah? Yes, and, and, oh, there weren't cars back then like it is now. Yes, what do you think, Nina? Like that people, like, I, I think it's more for them, like, creating little communities as opposed to, like, maybe, like, they were, like, just taking walks. Oh, people were taking walks? Okay. So what I want you to do, boys and girls, is I want you to write down what you think life might have been like for a family from Puerto Rico to New York City long ago. Think about that. I want you to write down what you think life might have been like. In New York City for a family from Puerto Rico a long time ago in New York City. Okay, and let's meet our author and illustrator. So our author, Lucia Gonzalez, was born in Cuba and came to live in the United States when she was 12. Her work as a librarian helped her become a skilled storyteller and puppeteer. Mm -hmm. She enjoys folk tales from many countries and finds that many are like the ones she grew up hearing and learning about. Does anybody know what a puppeteer is? What's a puppeteer, Sophia? Someone who makes puppets. Who makes puppets? Yes. Who does puppet shows? Who, yes, who, uh, who, they might make puppets, but they operate the puppets. So they, they do the puppets. So that's what a puppeteer does. That sounds fun, doesn't it, boys and girls? Mm -hmm. And then we have Lulu Del Acre. She grew up in Puerto Rico. Her grandmother often gave Lulu white paper to draw on while she listened to music. She says that she doesn't think her grandmother ever threw away a single picture she drew. Oh, nice. So let's, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to listen to our story, The Storyteller's Candle. I'll look at the beautiful illustrations. And so we'll listen to our story. 